remember the fluorescent lights bouncing off of his bronze hair, and I wanted to get to know him, but I couldn't get his attention. So after the meeting, the whole group went to a restaurant in Westwood. But it was a big group, and I was the last one to go in. And I thought, there won't be any seats left. And when I walked in the restaurant, there was only one seat left. And it was next to Steve. I, I met Gabrielle's brother before I met her, and I was friends with him. And uh, we, we met, well, during finals, essentially, of, our, of my senior year here. They had a, a secret Santa, you know, where you're, you give to someone else. And my roommate was giving to her roommate. And it was, you know, with Secret Santa, you can't give directly to the person. So I was delivering to her dorm. And I'd seen Glenn, and I avoided making eye contact in the way to play hard to get, and rushed to the restaurant to make sure I could save a seat next to me so that he could take it. And luckily he did. And she invited me to their house a little bit after that, shortly after we met. And I went to uh, their door, and the, her brother answered the door, and I could tell he had no idea why I was there. Uh, and Gabriella said, oh, that's for me. That person seemed to never be there. So when I went over to deliver my roommate's present to her roommate, I ended up talking to Kimberly, and we ended up striking up a friendship. And it kind of went from there. Stephen won't tell you this, but he's actually a humanitarian. He has a big heart, and he has a vision, his backbone, he speaks his mind, and he has a great sense of justice. Uh, what was special? I, I guess you just feel like you always have known somebody, you know, and you know, you know how they think, and you just feel that comfortable with them. Glenn is a person who is very ambitious, very hardworking, very single-minded, and he's also someone who is surprisingly witty on occasion. He's one of those stealth dinner guests who will not say very much, but when he does do a zinger, it's really funny. So I, I thought she was special before I actually met her. Um, and we were walking over here just now. We walked by the math building, which is the first time that I saw her. Uh, I was waiting for class, and she walked by. And I thought that I, I liked her when I saw her walk by. I didn't know who she was. I knew she lived in the co-op, but she looked very... Uh, most students were wearing jeans and, uh, and t-shirts and Gabriella was wearing a skirt and a blouse and had a shoulder bag and she looked very smart and, and, I, and, uh, and uh, poised and I thought that's the type of woman that I'd like to know. I don't think it was anything. It wasn't anything, wasn't, it wasn't your big stage, uh, get out on your knee, babe, will you? Now it was, uh, I think I was over her apartment and we were talking and I don't remember about what, but I remember going, I guess I'm asking you to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> but we got engaged on campus, so that's kind of a big one, I guess. Uh, yeah. we, we were engaged right up by Royce. Um, the original plan was to do it on top of Jan's steps. I kind of had like this grand vision of what that was going to look like. Um, but it was so hot that day that by the time we actually made it to the top of Jan Steps, I was already kind of sweaty and nervous, so <laughs> I didn't think that would actually be the best spot for it anymore. So I like found the nearest shade, which was like somewhere in front of Royce, and then that's where I decided to do it. I think the most amazing thing about being in love with a Bruin is that you kind of always have this shared connection regardless. I mean, there's always something to relate back to. Even though it's sometimes hard to think of like specific moments because there's so many things that happened over the course of her four and my five years here. Uh, there's, you know, the little things end up becoming like so much more memorable as you come back. I remember when I was installed on the Alumni Association being able to introduce Glenn as my partner. And then coming back when Lambda alumni reactivated and being able to introduce him as my husband. Our relationship as Bruins <coughs> um, progressed pretty interestingly after we graduated because what we found is that by being, both having been together at UCLA, it's the foundation for our relationship because that's where it all started. So we can refer to things and we know what each other's talking about and we can hate the Trojans together and 
we can, you know, do all of that and it all really means something because we both went to UCLA at the exact same time too.